Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So it's been a while since I've done a reading for you all. So let's go ahead and see what message we have for you. I took some time off. So we're going to go ahead and get an energy update for you all. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please give me a message. Nine of Wands. I need something else for y'all. The sun, something being revealed about, um, I don't know, I'm feeling you've seen someone in a different light, honestly. And this could be a situation that you may have rushed into, okay? Um, almost working out of impulsive desires led you to see something okay this is what i'm getting um let's keep going yeah seven of swords many of you i think some of you are still in denial about somebody even though you see, it's, something's been revealed. Something's out in the open here. But we're getting some denial here. Somebody refused to see something. Let me see what your overall energy is. Six of Pentacles. Pisces, I think you guys are the sixth sign that I'm doing. And I feel like a lot of you are in old energies. We're, we're past this. We move past this. Because I feel like I'm about to be redundant here and I don't want to do that. So y'all going to have to give me a second. Let me see if there's something else coming through. Because if somebody's giving, over giving, some of y'all are giving to something. Okay, this can actually affect your stability. All right, I'm getting something here. Um, some of you, your money. Your money might be suffering. There's something you're not seeing. Uh, there's a cycle you're replaying. This doesn't have to be a person. This is, uh, some of y'all act out of your, your, your feelings. Like if you're passionate about something, you feel like I'm going for it and I'm gonna put my all in. Something was shown to you to tell you stop doing that. But you keep doing it. Some of y'all, this is a person. I'm seeing some of y'all giving to a, relationship here and um your lessons are coming through people you're gonna it's gonna start affecting you in other areas of your life if you're not able to uh, get it right it's gonna start affecting your money so um if this is work i feel like if the, or if you work with this person it's like either it can affect you negatively at work to the point where you might end up earning less, maybe even losing your job or wanting to leave. Some of you may have left your job because of a person. All right, Queen of Pentacles. I'm starting to get some uh, something here. There's a need to be more grounded, take more practical, a more a, like a more um, mature approach when it comes to the way you move. I don't want to start lecturing, so I'm going to keep going because I feel like there's going to be more. You, there you go. Clean a cup. Less of an emotional you know, I'm feeling this, therefore I'm gonna make a decision. You need to start looking more long-term. Where is this taking me? What does this mean for me? How can this help me? How will this change my life for the better? 
versus it feels good right now. I like how it makes me feel. This is something that gives me butterflies. It's warm to me. It's like, there's a need to take a more practical approach on things. Some of you live in fantasy versus reality. I feel like this is gonna affect your stability. If you're feeling a little bit unstable, you're gonna have to check the decisions you're making in other areas in your life. Wow, we got another queen. Uh, all right. There's a need to pay attention to your intuition here because all of this feminine energy is letting me know something's being suppressed. Your feminine energy needs more attention. It's like you need to start taking care of how you sell, how you feel, um, taking care of your, it's like, what do you want? Some of you need to believe in yourself more. It's lack of confidence. And there's another element here of not knowing what you want. You may be inconsistent. You may start something and don't finish it. There's a need to be more grounded, more confident, and trusting your intuition more. Confidence, strength. It's time to self care here. Uh, self love. We're back to basics here. I don't know whose energy I'm picking up on, but some of you, uh, there's a. Um, I'm. I feel like some of you are in a, a cycle again. You're gonna start experiencing similar energies from the old cycle we just left. And it's gonna be in love. You're gonna be attracting people to make you understand you need to go back within and start taking care of yourself. Some of you are doing the work and you're starting to see where you need to focus. And if you are, you attract a healthy connection. The way this is showing me This is what put a break in the message. There's a um, getting a denial, like someone doesn't want to accept something. It's like it can show up in different ways. It's just you're not accepting it. Seven of Swords. You don't want something to happen that's already, I feel like this has already happened. Queen of Pentacles, again. You need to be more grounded. And this is the strongest queen that's screaming out to me here. You need to be more practical, more realistic. And also because I, I'm seeing that this is going to affect your stability. It's going to affect your money. She's focused on her pinnacles. She's focused on the things she builds for herself. That's where her focus. Some of you, your focus is on this energy here from your past. I see you looking back. That's deceived you. That's your focus. Even though you've gotten some type of clarity about this energy, the sun here, something's been revealed. This is an abundant card. This is happiness, joy, contentment. This is a good card. But with um, Seven of Swords, it's showing me someone's got something and they went back. This is self-deception, self-sabotage. And it's it's uh, the way you're thinking. It's like uh, you don't want to repeat this cycle. 
You just don't, you know. Two of Cups here. A lot of you, this is concerning a person. You you keep getting your lessons through people. It's like uh, you you're you're giving people around you an identification. A um, it's like seeing them in a way that they're not here. You see people the way you want to see them, not as they are. And this is going to this is gonna require you to let go of... Some of y'all are wanting one outcome. You specifically want a certain outcome. And that's the only thing you have your eyes set on. This causes delays and you're actually going to find yourself more frustrated. This is temperance card. So Leo is here. Sagittarius is showing up. I mean... We have earth signs, water signs, fire signs right here. And then lovers. Your lessons come through um, relationship partners. So a lot of you attract strong soulmates actually, only so that you can learn to release control of this, of trying to get a person to be a way that you fan, like you, you uh, create for them in their mind. This is what I'm getting. It's, there's a refusal to see something, Pisces. This could be you. This could be others in your environment. This is what I'm getting. Lovers, Gemini showing up here. It's about learning to see your worth, your value. And cutting out, detaching from things. Cold turkey. See, because I was just thinking, we got all of the queens here, except for Queen of Swords. They was like, we can't even send the Queen of Swords and we got to send the King of Swords. They need to understand that that relationship partners is not everything some of you relationships is all you care about and there's other things they're trying to teach you and they're trying to get you to see so some of you are just looking for love but the self-love is important first you got to have self-love and here. and this is going to take a lot of strength many of you have a lot of work to do this is operating from that animalistic nature you're not able to control your instincts. Animals act out of instinct. You are, um, you're not an animal. So you need to learn to control that. It's like uh, learning to stand down. Fortitude. That's what I'm hearing. You're strong enough to overcome whatever. We're going to extend on this. I want to find out more about this situation. I don't know. I feel like this is incomplete. Because there's like this Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah. People who come into your life get you in a place where you have to go within. And there's like this... um need to release worry about a person coming in some of you that's all you want to know and they're saying be patient something is still in the works of being something's still being balanced here there's still healing needed here yeah we'll get into the extended i'll clarify more of these two of cups these queens a fiery climax approaches. There's something about the change. It says a fiery climax approaches. It also says the conclusions are within your reach. You can reach that outcome that you want. It's within your reach, which lets me know it's close. Strength here twice. Queen of Pentacles here twice. We have lovers, two of cups. The King of Swords is your final card. It's telling you detach emotionally from things. 
and you, you're gonna have to start using your rational mind. Some of you are in a cycle and you keep attracting the same kind of person to get you to see something about yourself. There is some type of denial here. Something that some of you refuse to see. It's, a, it's not within your best interest, but there are some conclusions within your pro fiery climax. Conclusions within your reach and a fiery climax here. All right, let's get into the extended to see what else we get here. Someone you cut ties with, there's a need to detach from this person emotionally. Some of you may have already removed yourself from someone. I'm getting, but you still, you're still emotionally attached. You're still want, wondering what they're doing, checking on them, looking at their pictures on social media. It's like still attached emotionally, even though physically you've detached. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We'll leave it there and see what else comes out in the extended Pisces. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.